We're looking at buildings that have at least four units. Christina and Jim, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to episode 127 of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. Now, today's show is pretty cool. Today's show is pretty unique. I'm working with Christina and Jim, husband and wife team. And uh, previously, we had looked at some single family homes. And Christina and Jim, they got uh, approximately 100000 in cash that they want to leverage uh, to build some some, uh, you know, some doors uh, here in the Cleveland market. And we were looking at some singles. And uh, after I had sent the video to them and they analyzed them, they were like, you know what? Let's hold off on the singles at this moment in time. And let's take a look at uh, what's out there that's a little bit bigger, right? So that's what I've got for you guys today. Two buildings. You wanted to look at things that were had a minimum of four units and then moved up beyond that. So the first one, the first one is a building that I already looked at for another investor, and it is a four unit. Uh, but what's cool about the footage that I'm about to show you here shortly is this particular investor, he's a foreign national, uh, so he wasn't going to be able to qualify for traditional residential financing. The reason I think four units are by far the best investment is because they qualify for traditional 30-year financing. It's the largest building you can get that 30-year loan with 25% down. Uh, but that particular investor, he's going to have to utilize non-traditional financing because he's a foreign national. And I touched on the non-traditional financing and the commercial financing in his analysis, which I think is going to be good for you guys because the, the following property that I have for you in today's video actually has five units. So it's also not going to qualify for traditional financing. So it's nice that we kind of talked about that. So let's take a look at that footage now. 317 Center Road, Bedford, Ohio, 44146. This is a BC neighborhood. This is a Solid neighborhood, so you have no neighborhood concerns. Very stable. This property was just listed two weeks ago by a realtor from Westway Realty. The list price one hundred forty nine thousand nine hundred. You're going to have to be more aggressive on this one. This is a quad. This is a hell of a deal. Since you're going to be paying cash, that's more attractive than the other bidders because this is going to have multiple offers guaranteed. So since you're coming in cash, I'm hoping maybe we can get you a slight discount. Pick this up for one hundred forty five thousand. But if we get into a bidding war, you're probably going to have to increase that to pay list or maybe a grand or two above list. If you do, don't worry. Still going to make sense. This is a solid deal. You absolutely want to take this one down. What it is currently bringing in, we got four one-bedroom, one-bath units. Rent roll on the screen brings in $2,240 a month or $26,880 a year. Now, not all those rents are market rents. Those, uh, those rents are a little bit off. In my opinion, market rents for each one of these units is going to be 600 a unit. So three of the units, we could increase the rent. One of the units, they're, they're running it at 645. I, I don't know what the situation is, how they got that particular tenant to pay that. Uh, if you try to rent things for above market price, every once in a while, you'll get certain tenants who will do it. But I don't want to make you feel uh, like 645 is the target. I think that's a little fluffed. I don't know. It's, it seems like a one-off to me. I would not anticipate we're going to put four tenants in there on a regular basis, all paying 645. I think the more appropriate market price is going to be 600. So that does add 1600, or I'm sorry, it does add 160 bucks a month to your monthly rent roll. But uh, you know, that's just what's reasonable, right? We, we may be up Sometimes we may be down, but that is a reasonable expectation. That's what it's all about here, providing you reasonable expectations, right? This is rental real estate. There's an unlimited amount of variables at all times. Um, I just try to give you the closest thing to what you can anticipate. But running the numbers based upon what the property is currently doing with the current monthly rental, um, monthly rental, uh, monthly rent roll, eh, couldn't get that out, of 2240 a month, what does it look like? Well, I believe we'll be spending... 1371 of that 2240 a month, leaving you with an NOI of 869. Now, if you pick this up for 145,000, 
and you're making an NOI of 869 a month on average, that is a 7-2 cap. And of course, that could go up if we got the, the rental income a little bit higher. Now, a few things, right? This is above your budget, right? You're only looking to spend 50 to 100K per property. But here's the thing. Quads, man, there is just a very few amount of quads. And when you're refinancing your portfolio later, quads are what you really want to have in your portfolio because once you get into the commercial stuff, the terms are not going to be as good, right? You being a foreign national, you're not going to get the, the very best residential terms like U.S. citizens will, but you can still get some 30-year financing, right? Especially if you do a big old blanket loan. Uh, we should be able to get some like really high quality financing terms for you um, with that blanket loan and if some of the properties have a high enough purchase price you can go independent and like do individual mortgages right if you have a bunch of like sixty thousand dollar houses seventy thousand dollar houses you know it may be hard as a foreign national to get like a pure 30-year loan so you want a blanket loan all those would be more on a commercial basis but with this particular property we could probably separate that out i believe and get you like a really solid 30-year loan on this particular property because it's you know going to be you know high priced right and the cool thing is like a four unit property is typically the largest property you can get a 30 year loan so that's that's the tree i'm trying to bark up with this that's why i think it's important now price wise do i i see like a big uh, a shift in value um between now and when you go to refinance this out no do i see a big shift in value now and when you go to refinance this out based on the the minor adjustments we can make to that rent roll no i don't i think uh it's more or less worth about this number i mean i don't know honestly it, i could probably sell it for one hundred and sixty-five thousand if i was the agent just because i have such a, a wider audience right um but you know it's only a twenty thousand dollar difference so it's it's not like you know, an incredible burr play, or we're not really trying to like steal a ton of equity here. This is just a solid earner that just makes a ton of sense uh, to refi out in the future and to just maintain for your portfolio. I mean, if we if we did get this worth 165, I guarantee I could sell it for 165. But you know, can I guarantee that the appraisers are going to value it at 165 if you purchase it for? Our, uh, a lower amount and didn't like make incredible major improvements or see a major market shift. I don't know, but if we did get it to do an appraisal of 165 and we did separate it out from like a blanket loan, you'd probably get $123,750 of your cash back, okay, on a 30 year note. So this is just a solid, solid move for your portfolio. So this is something I want you to look at. All right, guys. So yeah. That's that quad. I think that's a pretty solid buy. Um, just a little background in addition to that, because uh, I made that a, a little bit, a little while back, right? That was like maybe like a month, maybe six weeks ago or something like that, that I sent it to that guy. That property went off the market. Uh, we ended up doing something different, me and that client, but that property had went off the market, but it recently came back on the market. So still available. And since you guys are United States citizens, you live in the United States, you can also qualify for traditional financing. That will be the largest building you can get your traditional financing on. And that would be just a pure 30 year loan, 25% down, fixed interest, low interest. If you guys need uh, access to lenders who can write that loan, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. Now let's go to a quick word from the sponsors today's show before we get into the second property. Seller financing can be one of the most profitable ways to quickly grow a large real estate portfolio. Unlike bank financing, there are no term restrictions. Everything is negotiable. This allows for creative terms, including no money down deals and financing for foreign nationals or those with low to no credit. If you would like access to all of the seller finance properties in some of the most affordable rental markets across the United States, Click the show notes below or go to holtonwise.com and click the property search tab. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. 
Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Now, Christina and Jim, this next property, right? This has got four residential units, but it's also got a huge commercial space. So this is a, technically a five-unit property. 3196 West 25th, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. Now, this has been listed almost six months, right? 199000 is the price right now. And I've had my eye on this particular property for quite a while because I like the property. But dude, they overpriced this sucker. <laughs> Originally, it was $250,000. And just last week, they dropped it fifty k because it wasn't moving because that's just way overpriced, right? Uh, so a $50,000 price reduction, right? That's a big price reduction. That just goes to show you that they know uh, that this sucker's overpriced. But I still think it's currently overpriced at 199000 So if we were to do this deal, if we were to make a move on this, I would like to see you guys pick it up for $165,000. Now, if you pick it up for $165,000, what exactly are you going to get? Well, the four uh, residential units, all occupied rents, 500, 525, 575, 575. And on the main floor, you get this very large commercial space, right? And I believe right now, the thing we would want to do with it is just set it up as storage. To my understanding, there's been some damage to it. And look, uh, you know, we're coming out of the coronavirus stuff right now. Now is not necessarily the best time in the world uh, to try to start a small business, right? There's a lot of additional commercial space, right? So to say that this thing would have a high demand, this, this space down there, there's already damage to it. To say it would have a high demand uh, to where it would make sense for us to do a big old renovation down there and try to rent it out to a commercial tenant. I mean, I, I think, you know, you're going to deal with a large amount of vacancy. So I don't think it makes sense to put the cost into it. In addition, right, this neighborhood, you know, this is, a, this is not a neighborhood where a lot of businesses are going to do well. The kind of businesses that do well in this particular neighborhood, you're, you're looking at like tattoo shops, barber shops. I mean, barber shops are probably the most popular uh, type of business that we see in these types of properties in these types of neighborhoods. But, uh, you know, right now is not the time to open up a barber shop, right? So what I think makes the most sense where we're at currently right now is just rent the whole space, the huge space, super cheap, right? 400 bucks, essentially storage for somebody. Uh, doing it that way, we should be able to get a tenant in there uh, in a relatively short amount of time. It ain't going to be like a 30-day thing like a residential unit though, right? It's still going to take some months of vacancy. But once we get it fully occupied, I mean, the sucker could bring in almost $2,600 a month. I mean, we're going to be bringing in over $30,000 a year. Now, as far as what that looks like, right? 2575 comes in, you know, we're still accounting for repairs and maintenance, CapEx. And the cool thing about that big storage space is there's really not going to be any like repairs or maintenance, right? I mean, it's just like a big blank, you know, warehouse space. So when we do get turnover there, yeah, we're going to have months of not, not receiving rent, things of that age, but we ain't going to have to do anything as far as repairs, right? It's not like a residential unit uh, where we're repainting, we're fixing, uh, you know, this, we're fixing that, patching holes in the walls. I mean, there's this is a big old blank space that we're giving away for super cheap, right? So that's going to be nice. You're not going to have water sewer bills down there, right? Because there's not even a bathroom down there, okay? Uh, so you don't have to worry about people, uh, you know, using the water. So some of the costs are going to be a little bit lower. One thing with a building such as this, very old, and it's got uh, mixed use, your insurance is going to be kind of high, though. The premium on the insurance could be about 200 bones a month. But when it's all said and done, what I anticipate is of that uh, 2575 coming in, on average, we'll spend in 1251 to operate this thing, leaving you guys with an NOI of 1324. If we can get it at my target price of 165,000, that is a net cap of 9.6. Now, uh, as far as financing, right? As you see, I haven't broke down the financing on the chart like I typically do in these shows because I, I don't exactly know what kind of terms you're going to get, right? With the residential financing, the kind of financing that we can use on one to four unit properties, we know what we're going to get, right? We're going to get low fixed interest loans. You're going to be required to put down 25% and it's going to be amortized over 30 years. When it comes to buildings like this, right? Once we get into the five units and up space or we get into the mixed space, 
right? It's different. You're going to have to deal with commercial lenders, which I have for you. Send me an email, sales at holdenwise.com. I will get those out to you or anyone else who's watching. But your terms, they're going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be bouncing around, right? They're looking at the debt service coverage ratio of the building. They're looking at you. They might factor in where you live versus where the building is. So I've provided you guys with several lenders. You're going to need to talk to them. The terms are all going to vary. You might be able to do 25% down on one building, but you have to do 50% down on another. As far as your terms go, it might be amortized over 5, 10, 15, 25 years, but the call might be due in five years, maybe 10 years, maybe 15 years. What you're probably not going to see out there in the market, guys, is a commercial loan that's you know, fully amortized over 30 years, meaning you have 30 full years to pay off the loan. That's highly unlikely. So you're going to have to do the numbers based upon the terms the lenders are providing to you. And you're going to want to talk to multiple lenders because you're going to be uh, getting various terms, right? This, again, is why I love quads the most because it's the biggest building, the most rent you can possibly get on that cushy, beautiful 30-year financing. Once we jump, make this leap right here, uh, things become a little more complicated and less advantageous for you from a financing standpoint. Uh, so I want you guys to keep that in mind. And that's why uh, I thought the content from the previous analysis that I did on that quad, uh, I thought the content was very good because even though it's a quad, you guys can get the good financing. The particular client I was uh, doing that video for, he couldn't just because he, uh, he was a foreign national. So I, I thought that would uh, parlay well and, and be good for this particular video. Uh, one other thing to note, uh, Jim and Christina, as we go into the four units and up space, the, the amount of inventory, it's going to shrink, okay? We don't have just a whole slew of this stuff sitting on the market. Um, so when we were doing the singles, I just want you guys to know, you know, those are very replicatable and we can get a lot of those. As far as quads or bigger buildings, right? Pickens are going to be slim. We're not going to have that much to choose from. And we might have to wait some things out. Like, for instance, this West 25th building, originally listed at 250 Totally insane price. They dropped it down 50 k Are they willing to take a, a fairly low offer? Like, I, I think we should present a 165 offer today. I don't know. You know, that's, that's still a, a decent chunk of money off what they're looking for. But that's the price I think makes sense with this particular building. Uh, but, you know, we might have to, you know, wait them out or maybe the deal doesn't pan out. Just, you know, things like that I want you guys to, uh, to keep in mind because there's like a, a decent chunk of the bigger inventory that's on the market right now in Cleveland. Like our, you know, five units, six units, 10 units, 20 units, et cetera. I, I feel like a lot of it is very overpriced uh, right now. And we're going to have to slow play a lot of this stuff or uh, just shoot out a lot of offers that don't get accepted. Uh, and an effort to get you guys a solid deal that cash flows very well. So that's my thoughts on the new space we're moving into, the market in general, and of course, these two properties. Let us know uh, your thoughts on the video. If you'd like to move forward on either of these properties, please reply to the, the private link we sent you guys. And uh, let us know what direction you want us to take things on your next video. Everyone else out there, if you are interested in working with my team one-on-one like Jim and Christina are, I want you to go to holtonwise.com, click the property search for sale tab, click the MLS search and nails to show, order yourself a package. I prefer the 10 property package, which is what Jim and Christina have because I'm able to work with you and, and go back and forth and we're able to change things up and, and kind of, you know, make adjustments as we go. For instance, Jim and Christina, we were originally looking at singles after analyzing some of that data. We're like, Hey, let's check out some, uh, some bigger stuff. And, uh, now they got that to chew on what's going to happen on the next video. I'm not sure just yet, right? We're going to be able to chew on it. We're going to work together, bounce ideas off of me. I bounce ideas off of them. And, uh, we move forward in an effort to build them a portfolio. And that's what me and my team, that's what we're here to do for you guys, providing you guys the most transparent information possible, right? Uh, you could send me a whole laundry list of things you want to accomplish. You want to do this, that, this, and this. And, you know, I'm, you know, maybe they're not realistic. And I'm going to shoot you reasons why, you know, your, your wish list is not going to happen. And I'm going to tell you what could happen. And then uh, we go back and forth, right? Because, I mean, that's what you need, guys. You need knowledge. You need the market expertise. And you need somebody making sure uh, you don't get duped into buying something 
that's actually highly risky or not really going to accomplish your goals, but the uh, listing presentation makes it appear on paper that it will, right? That's what you have me for, uh, to do the due diligence, to talk about the risks of the neighborhood, to talk about these assets as monetary investments. That's what I do. So check that out if you'd like to work with us. That's all I've got for today's show, folks. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REIB is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.